Hi, welcome to this brand new Simply Maya tutorial. In this tutorial I wanted to cover the process of architectural visualizations within Maya. Now, not for one specific shot, although we will make everything you can see in this shot. What I actually wanted to do was create a tutorial that went through the process from start to finish to allow you to create any pretty much any type of interior architectural visualization. Now, some of you might be familiar with some of my stuff on Simply Maya. I tend to do fairly complicated lighting tutorials for ArcVis. And this time I wanted to do something a little different. So using the scene as sort of a platform to get us, um, you know, a few pieces of furniture to build, I wanted to take a look at things that often get overlooked. Stuff like uh, skirting board, chair rails, um, picture rails, coving, wooden panelling for the walls, how to make door frames, and how to make this so they can be used in scene over and over again. So how to kind of build up an architectural visualization library. We then built three or four pieces of furniture, and I'll just show you one of those that we built now. So if I just flick my view here, you can see we built this little bedside cabinet. And, you know, I wanted to make furniture that looked solid. So this, this render is just a simple ambient occlusion render. And if I spin around it, you'll see it looks a very solid piece of furniture. Now, I used as many different techniques as possible with all of the furniture. So the top, for instance, was built with nerbs and then converted to polys. There's some little tricks to make these... Um, uh, dressing elements here. Again, we've used some different techniques to get in curves at the bottom here. You'll see that we've paid particular attention to detail on the legs. They're all cut in nicely. They have lips where the um, little magazine tray in this case sits. You know, so I wanted to create a art tutorial that taught furniture but in such a way that it would give you the techniques to then go ahead and build pretty much any kind of complicated piece. Um, in fact, if we look over, we also use uh, some simpler furniture, in this case our bed. So, you know, as you can see, this is a pretty simple model of the bed, and if we flick back to the render, you can see that I've just used, you know, a little technique as for the side of these things here to fancy it up a bit. So, you know, um, the other thing you might notice, of course, is the cloth. Now, within the course of this tutorial, we'll be looking at both Maya predominantly, but we'll also delve into Marvelous Designer to help us with some of the cloth. Now, if you're not familiar for, with Marvelous Designer and you're going to do architectural visualizations, you're going to really need to get into this if you want to do cloth. It's very simple, um, very, very fast as soon as you worked out the basics of it. And the good news is it doesn't cost a fortune either. It can be rented monthly for, I think, $40 a month. So, you know, what a lot of people do is they rent it for a couple of months, build a, a library of reusable assets, and, you know, go that way if money, as for most of us these days, is a bit tight. So, you know, we start with these fairly simple um, furniture objects and we go, you know, to something a little more complicated um, like this cabinet, for instance. And again, with the things like the handles here, we use a lot of Myers animation deformers to get the bends and the twists. So, you know, it's all part of this um, series I'm trying to create where we look at, you know, various different ways to get fairly complicated twisty objects made. So by the end of this tutorial you should have a fairly good understanding of how to start off with some nerves, how to start off with some curves, how to start off with some polygons, um, you know, and we also look at building very low res geometry for use in simulations later on. So for instance, if we take a look at this couch, um, I'll just spin that 360 for you so you get a look at the cloth we made. You know, this started out as an extremely low-res proxy object to be used in Marvelous Designer. And if we look at our final scene, as I've said, I'm also going to be demonstrating some really fast ways to create all these little elements that really do make a big difference within the scene. And in fact, I think I've queued up here. This is a Maya, uh, Maya uh, Play Blast. So I'll just play this through and it'll just do a little fly around the room so you can get a look at the various elements we made. So you've got your basic bed with your cloth. You can see the geometry on all our objects is nice. 
you know, and everything in here we actually build during the tutorial, both the cloth and all the tables, the dressers, the bedside tables, the bed, um, the door frames. I mean, everything you can see in here we actually get around to building. So by the time you finish this tutorial, you should be able to just basically create any ArcViz interior that you want. Now, I'm going to call this tutorial Volumes 1 and 2 because it deals with both Maya and Marvelous Designer. Volume 3 will deal with uh, UV layout for hard surface modeling and should be out next week. Volume 4 will deal with rendering in mental ray textures and materials. Um, there'll also be companion volumes for that which will be rendering in V-Ray and rendering in Maxwell. So we really wanted to cover the basis as far as ArcVis was concerned. So this is uh, a deviation from my normal style of tutorial, which would be uh, dynamics or lighting. And, you know, I really wanted to take something and put it together from start to finish. So I really hope you join me for this one. And if you've got any questions, you can just give me a shout in the forum. Uh, my name's Dave. Thanks very much for watching.